you got to come and play every night. Anybody can be anybody in this league. So we just got to understand our game plan and be real physical with Georgia Tech because they're a physical team and rebound the basketball. They're one of the top rebounding teams in the league. The, the things that they do on defense, like we went over yesterday, they um they do a lot of switching, like like going away from like like ball screen. They switch, they switch a lot of ball screens and they switch almost everything. So it, it's going to be kind of tough because you got to be you got to be patient. Just because just because I have a six nine big man on me don't mean that I got an advantage right away. So you just got to be patient and let things come to you. So we just need a rebound. We need to block them out. Get the rebound and just run in transition. And we just, uh, when they run them, we just, just got to stop and pick up their big man. Everybody um, bossing out and the guards helping our bigs rebound and um, getting easy buckets in transition um, and being being a better mental player out there on the court. You know, don't make no crazy mistakes because one of those crazy mistakes can help um, make us lose the game. So every possession really counts in each game we play. Our league is such a, a dominant guard league, and you got to have great guards to win. I think those guys are just now rounding into shape. Um, you know, they've put Maurice Miller into the starting lineup, and they've been playing much better since then. They've moved Peacock back to his original uh, best position of the power forward, and uh, those guys are starting to come together. And they've got a couple guys that are NBA prospects, and uh, they're very well coached, and uh, it's going it's to be a handful for us. Well, they got the leading rebounder in the league right now. He's the only guy, he's averaging a double double in Ghani Lawal. Uh, they have three guys that are superior athletes in Lawal and uh, Aminu and, and Peacock. Uh, they're probably also the three best runners uh, out of all the bigs in the league on the same team. They're going to be guys really trying to score in transition and uh, then they get you out of position because you're working so hard to get back and then they, that gives them angles to get to the offensive glass. So that's a big priority for us in terms of our practice preparation is, is working to keep their touches both in the low post and their touches off the glass to a minimum and that'll, that'll probably have a lot to do if we win or lose. Well, they've been playing with confidence all along. If you look back at their schedule, they lost three games in the ACC in overtime. And so they, they very well could be four and two. I think they, the, the, they were close with Duke, and then Duke pulled away at the end. Uh, so this is uh, a team that's very competitive. It's just that the ball has not bounced their way at the end of the games, and we all know what that's like. You put those games behind you, you can't, at the level that we're trying to compete at, you can't allow yourself to get it too emotionally up when things go well and you can't allow yourself to be negatively affected when you're not successful. You put those games behind you, you look at the films, you evaluate, uh, draw what you can from them, and you move on to the next game. And we realize how important this Georgia Tech game is, but I'm sure, I'm sure Georgia Tech does too.